Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tech Topics in the Acropolis video series. Today we'll be talking about advanced configuration and how you can do some advanced administration from the command line. This, all this stuff is going to be done through ACLI, so rather than trying to draw out a command line, let's go right to the demo. So for this demo, instead of using the familiar Prism interface, we're going to go directly to the CVM. Like its counterpart, NCLI, ACLI has some more advanced features that aren't always needed, but are very useful to know about. So in order to access ACLI, simply SSH to one of the CVMs and run the command ACLI. Like many ACLIs, you can run the help command to get a listing of available commands, and you can use tab completion. So for example, vm dot and double tab will give me a list of all of the things I can do. If I use vm dot list, I can get a list of all the current VMs in the system. I can do vm dot get and then a VM name to get a configuration of that VM. I can power on the VM. As you can see down here, this VM is currently in K off, which means the VM is powered off. I can power it on with a vm dot on. Now if we take a look at the vm dot get, we see that he's now on. So this is just some basic use and there's, there's some advanced features here. So for example, HA. In one of our previous videos, we talked about HA. If you run ha.get, you can see more information about the configuration. For example, the reservation type down here. We can also do think, some really cool things with scripting. ACLI is very good at things you need to do repetitively. So say I want to clone a vm. I do vm.clone. I give the names. I can do clone from vm. Give it a vm name. And then hit enter. Now if we do vm.list, we can see we've got two vms. So as you can see, it's very easy to clone a single VM. But what if I need to do 100 VMs? So I made my template, now I want to spin up 100 VMs off of that. I can just do vm.clone, test, specify the numbering here. If I put leading zeros there, it'll name them all the exact same, with the same length. And then I just do my normal and we've now created 100 VMs. They're processing right now, and complete. As you can see, they're all here now, and there's nothing to it. It was as simple as a single command. Now say I want to power on all these VMs. If I just do vm.on star, this will power on all 100 clones that I just made. As you can see, my HA reservations kicked in and said, hey, you don't have enough CPU for this. But the other ones have all powered on. Test VM was already powered on, so they gave me this error, but the other ones are now all powered on. Let's take a look at that from Prism. We now have all of these running VMs, all with a couple of commands. This makes ACLI very powerful indeed. I would also recommend taking a look at ACLI when you get a chance, just to see the different options available to you. For example, if we look at host, we have that maintenance mode state that we used in the cluster maintenance section earlier in the class, but these are all useful things to know. So for example, if I wanted to get just the VMs on a single host, I can do host.listVMs. and I just get the VMs running on that host. That's just a small example of the things you can do from ACLI. It's incredibly powerful and the help is very useful. I would definitely recommend checking it out on your own and try writing some custom scripts for the things you're trying to do. Thanks for watching Tech Topics. This has been another video in the Acropolis video series. Have a great day.